Hey everybody, this is Kosho in the Hobby Hangout right now at my pad, and we're going to go ahead and update this 14 channel receiver today, the AR14400T receiver from Spectrum RC and Horizon Hobby. It's a power safe receiver meant for large scale aircraft. We're going to be building a 104 inch laser in the next few days, and um, we're going to go ahead and update this today with the Spectrum Programmer. Uh, 3.6 and that's basically done with a USB cable now you don't need this SPM 3065 cable anymore to do this on this particular receiver so we'll go ahead and get into that right now so um, we'll go ahead and get into this right now okay opening the box we've got instruction manual and uh, it's gonna tell you some basic things about it and then inside you've got this is a uh, little switch holder of some sort and you've got the unit there is a power safe switch that comes along with it um, basically it's a push button and once it's on it's on even if it comes unplugged it keeps the receiver on so that's a good feature here's your dual battery import input um, Basically, you can use an IC3 connector or something with an EC3 connector on it. Um, the standard pulse batteries plug into these, and so do our smart batteries. And um, along with that, we get a 4651 telemetry receiver. This does send full telemetry data back to your, um, your transmitter. I'm using an NX10 SE. Along with those, you get three of the um, remote receivers. Uh, the number on these is a SPM 9747. These are SRXL2 remote receivers. So you're getting the latest and greatest uh, technology in Airware 2, which is uh, basically our, our um, channel hopping science we use. Um, Anyway, there is uh, some screws to mount it with. You'll see that on the receiver, there's four mounting tabs you can use to uh, secure it down. I'm also going to put some sticky tape on the backside. So uh, there's a look at the unit. Pretty cool. So the next thing we're going to do is we got we have to update it. Um, when you when you get these from Spectrum, the best thing to do is to uh, log into your account register it so that we know that you own it and then uh, update it to the latest firmware um, it's not that anything's wrong with the update that's in it it's just the fact that as we update our radios you may want to update your receiver so they work the same oh and one feature i forgot to mention is the sd card slot right here um, you can use a uh, an sd card of uh, 16 gigabytes and you can install it there and it's a it's a black box recorder so we'll take a look at um you know the how the black box logs and things too on this uh receiver so here we go okay guys so we have a little spaghetti of uh wired receivers and the new receiver all plugged in We'll unbundle those when we put them in the airplane, of course. Um, so we're plugged in with the USB cord right here, the micro USB. I don't have any batteries plugged in. You don't need them. Um, the uh, program is the Spectrum Updater 3.6 that we're using right now. Spectrum Programmer 3.6, I'm sorry. And uh, essentially what you see here on my computer is a list of um, the... Uh, the receivers all listed here and telling you that there's a that 2.44 is the software version and that you can check for an update on those and then um, the software version right now is 1.1 on the main receiver and we can update it to 1.21 so I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, zoom you in here and we'll go do it together Software version 1.1. Okay, so you can see serial number and whatever is my stuff. And it says check for update. Let's check for the update. So first, you have to register your device. As I zoom out here. 
um, you see that there's a registered device. And so I'm going to nickname mine, I don't know, freaking, uh, this is going to be the laser, laser 14 channel. And then I'm going to register my device. Boom. So now in here, we see that 1.2.1 is available. So, uh, let's see here. So, this first one right here, um, you're just gonna go down the list. So, it says there's an online update, <clears throat> we're gonna install it, and it kind of tells you what the install is and whatever. So, we're gonna go ahead and just go update. And so that one was successful. That's okay. So then you're going to go down to receiver one here. There's software version 1.2. And then uh, here is receiver one. And we are going to check for an update. First, I have to register my device. Um, we call this the laser laser uh, 14 remote one and then you can register your device that's just a nickname so you know what airplane it's in and stuff and so it'll say uh, let's see software version 2.44 no software version is available at this time so you don't need to do that but then I'm going to go ahead and go down to receiver 2 here. We're going to check for update. And then it's going to ask you to register your device. So we're going to do it again. Laser 14 channel. Basically, we'll just do laser 14 remote 2. Register the device. This is putting it all on your Spectrum account automatically. So somehow it knows it's logged into your account when we go on here and um, I just stay logged in and then uh, so basically there's receiver 2 and there's no update at this time and as you see I'm not a I'm not a computer genius here so you just go down the list and just do what it says super simple laser 14 remote 3 Register the device. Then there's no online update at this time, so then you go down to the next one, receiver number four. Check for the update. Register the device. And then it says. So um basically like if, if I was to, to get out of this right now. Um, let's see them all done, right? So we're on 1.2, receiver 1, da 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 like that. And then if I just minimize this, I can go over here to Google. And you shall see I go to my Spectrum website here. And uh, we're just on the standard uh, Spectrum RC website, and we'll go to support, and you go to my Spectrum, and then you're entering the Spectrum website. Please let me get to my login here. So here's a list basically of all the stuff I own, and uh, basically we're going to go down, 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 go to the last things we just logged in here. Um, we're looking at live wireless systems. So here you go. Here's some of those remote receivers. And uh, here is nickname 14 channel max. Where is it? Laser remote 2. And they're kind of in here just out of order, it looks like. AJ Slick. 
here's laser 14 channel so they're all in here basically my products are registered now so if i ever have an issue i just basically uh contact spectrum and they're on there it's proven that it's my stuff so that's kind of cool right i think so so anyway um that's how you do that and uh Okay, everybody, so I'm going to train you guys how to format your SD card for your Spectrum AR14400T receiver. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go to, on a Windows computer, you're going to go to this PC. And there you have this PC. And when I click on this PC, we end up with... Basically, SD card, you know, right click on that SD card. Now we're going to go over here to format. And then on the format here, you're going to see that the card says 32 kilobytes. This is actually a 16. So you can pick it 16 at 32's default and you're going to hit uh, quick format and start. Um, I'm not going to do it because I already did it, but I just wanted to show you guys that is how you do it. So when you're done with that, you can insert the card into your um, into your receiver and we'll do that next I'll show you how to do that okay guys we're out here on my big uh, extra NG and um, I want to show you where the SD card goes in it's gonna be right here there's a little picture of an SD card actually on it and uh, you're gonna take that and just push it in there you may have to use a little tool um, I'm going to take my key out of my pocket here and you're just going to kind of kind of get it to go in there. I'm trying to do it on camera. Give me a second here. I'm just going to push that in there and that's when your SD card is in. Now um, I'm going to turn on my NX10 here. And we'll go ahead and power up the uh, airplane. Make sure I got all this off of here. So, we'll power up the airplane here. And you'll see that you get a blue status light now. And that's because the card has been seen and it is now taking telemetry. So that's all there is to it. Hope you learned something. So here's a look at some of what the USB card looks like when you pull it out of the 14 channel receiver after flying. Basically keeps a log of everything. And this way you can tell if something's gone wrong. So here especially you'll see that there's frame losses and fades. And there's zero. And uh, you can scroll. There's one frame loss. One hold, negative two, 22 decibels. So, anyway, it keeps a log as it's powered on. So, there's some of that. So after watching all that boring stuff, I hope you learned something today. It's something that you really need to do. Um, you, you need to update your receivers and check for updates once in a while. When we update our transmitters, it's for good reasons. Um, so along with that, you should update the receivers to keep everything in jive and correct and working together. So anyway, I'm a proud Horizon Hobby member, Justin Co. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. And um, 
comment below if you have any more questions or you'd like to see something else, just let me know. Thank you and subscribe.